what's up guys got some more mail i just checked on the way in we got we got our little package from dino rc the other day you seen where i got me some of them little dino winches well i got me another package from um, i think this was from either him or the the other the admin of the group robert cole i think one of them sent them to me but either way it's all from dino rc but check this out we got another multicolored line like i say those are really cool when you're wondering how much line you have left to unspool before you get too low that's awesome and this that my wife loves it this is perfect for her truck she wants it look at this boom look at that maybe they see my videos or something that's a awful good guess wasn't it matches in little stripes we put on there so thanks a lot guys i really do appreciate this stuff and now i got another one of these that is cool oh you know i just noticed something one of these has a way better hook than the other okay this is the uh sorry this is the uh, black hook and this is even uh i don't know if it's bigger but it's more of a like a nickel metal hook so that's nice see what else we got some more stickers i, I love stickers man check this out i've already got a dino rc well hell let me let me show you guys it but it's on there there's my got a dino rc right there that's one of these bad boys i love the way that's wrote then check this one out we got another dino rc sorry i'm just just sitting in the back of the truck here or not sitting in but i was getting ready to do something when i got this anyway that one's really cool another dino rc and then we got these this youtube one i already put the other one in my garage that's really cool so yeah i'm in we still got to put them other ones on the vehicle so again guys check out dino rc on facebook and on youtube i believe they have their website as well they're doing the autism awareness auction coming up so anyone that's interested in participating in that please check out dino rc's page you get a lot more information i can tell you everything you need to know if you want to send something just let me know in the comments like i said this is my new beater i just got not to get off topic just got me a nice little beater it's awful loud though it's got straight pipe dual exhaust and this thing has them big six inch coffee cans or whatever and you think them are bad let me see if i can figure out how to put a picture up here because i've seen this truck in a parking lot today with 12 inch coffee cans you could literally shove a paint bucket inside of one it would fit that's how big they are so mine don't look so bad now i did not realize that they had a lift on this truck when it, the way it was parked when i bought it they took the lift off but it's got little two or three inch adjusters on the shocks that i have to take back off to put it back down i don't i'm not running a squatted vehicle don't laugh at me tell my wife whoever laughs at me i will sell it oh also yeah the side wreck too but anyway i had a set of wires under the hood didn't know what they were I plugged them in found a toggle switch that lit up it turns on wheel lights over under each wheel well there's some lights leds but they're white they're not even blue or red or nothing they're white you could change your tire and see really well at night but anyway i'm gonna crawl in the mud that's what i'm gonna do water's gone it's just mud let's hit it well all right i'm looking for a reason to get it that winch going so maybe if we try to take the track the trailer through this mud we'll get stuck and we'll have a reason to hook the winch to something. Nah, we're gonna see if we can. What's up, Johnny? I'm trying to see if I can play in the mud and maybe get it stuck just so I can use my winch. <laughs> we're gonna see how much it'll pull without getting stuck as well. With this trailer, it's going to get stuck.
surprisingly, this g and has got a lot of power. Now, I've had a few people that are looking for motor upgrades on their Gen 8, and I recommend that you get the Holmes Hobby Trailmaster motors. A lot of people are using the the five slot, the 10 and 12 turns. I'm using the 27 turn three slot, I believe. Unless I got that backwards, I can't remember. I might have that backwards. But I know I'm using the 27 turn Trailmaster. On a, this is 3S battery here, so stock ESC. So if I wanna go slow, it's not the greatest slow crawl, but it ain't bad. That's because stock ESC. When I had the hobby wing in there, it was really good. But it's nowhere near as jumpy as it used to be. Plus, I'm running a 14 tooth pinion now. That, that changes a lot. But but you can still transition from reverse and stuff really good. That's what he was looking for. It's something that wasn't so jumpy. But let's go through here and get a little more mud on the tires. These high racks have been really doing good on this truck. Okay, I see a better spot to test now. You know what? I better, better turn the other one on first. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. I don't think the trailer's going through that, baby. That's what we wanted. We wanted it to get a little stuck, but... Only thing I don't want is have to walk out there to hook my winch up. <laughs> but, all right, here's what's up. Here we go. I'm gonna put this baby out front here. We're gonna see what happens. Should we get the tires a little muddy too? Our Marty McFly. Put her in first gear, buddy. And also, guys, that we're talking about that Trailmaster motor. I have the same exact motor in this truck, a 27-turn Trailmaster, but I do have the Hobby Wing 1080 in it. And we got a Holmes Hobby brushless servo in this truck, too. This thing runs like it's almost a brushless truck, to be honest. Let me lock my disc. But pow. We had to get them tires a little muddy too, I figure. We got some mud here, but all right, now for me to get my winch hooked to it. All right, let's get this winch ran. Get a little slack on it. Take the right one out. Here we go. There we go. We're going to turn that up a little bit. This is my yellow dyno line that I just put on. Very happy to have that. It looks really cool. And this is the hook I got from KMS winches a while back. It is very cool. I'm going to put my KMS winch in one of these trucks as soon as I get the right mount. So anyway. Now I got me some cardboard over here to stand my butt on a little bit. Let's see how fun this should be. Let's see. Let me turn my winch on up a little bit here. I'm going to put my winch on full power, I believe. So let's give her a little shot without it. I don't want it to pull me off of there. See? I had it a little bit wound up, so that's the reason I just backed her up because I seen it was starting to wind a little bit.
Oh, I think it got off the spool again. Hold on. These winches, if you don't get them nice and straight, they'll do that. All right, she was good to go, actually. Oh, my trailer come unhooked. We gotta come around and pull that baby out, come off the ball. Let's just connect it anyway. We better back this uh, blazer on up just a little bit here. We'll go ahead and do this a little bit with the winch. Make the winch go out with it. There we go. It's now the end. Hook my trailer back up just for the fun of it. Let me make sure she ain't binding because that's what these winches do again. Alright, we're good. Let me back this baby up a little more. And let's go ahead and winch some more. Oh, it seems like it's doing its job, but it's not really great. She's pretty weak winch, so let's just do this. Yeehaw! Now we're going to well, reel the winch in. That'll help wind it up nice and tight this way. That's very good, and it? That's cool. Now we got to get our what a mess here. Up oh, trailer is right now. Oh, we lost our trailer. We got some mud on the tires, don't we? Let's see here. So come on hook because there's all the muddy tires. Well, I say we're going to have to give them a car wash after dinner. Oh, he's going back toward mud. Look at him. <laughs> we keep losing the trailer. We got all this mud around the ball hitch here. Making her, and it's wet, makes it pop on and off real easy because it's just a stupid little, oops. And my, my controller mount came off as well. <laughs> Alrighty. We left my wife's truck nice and clean. <laughs> it's all right, guys. Hope you like the mud. Don't forget to check out Dino RC. And get involved with the autism awareness if you want to. We really appreciate all the help we can get. Or all the help they can get. But anyway, guys, please like and subscribe. Thanks again, Dino RC. Peace. Ring the doorbell.